This is the way many technicians think labor time studies are performed. In fact, labor time studies are an exact process, requiring the use of published service procedures while keeping close track of time. But labor time studies must constantly be updated, and for good reason. Over the years, automotive technology has dramatically changed. In just the past 20 years, vehicles have gone from points plugs, and condenser to complete computer control systems. And not only the vehicles have changed. Today's technician works with systems that weren't even dreamed of 20 years ago. Computer networks, traction control systems, and many, many more. To service these systems, the technician must be expert in areas such as electronics, hydraulics, heating and air conditioning, just to name a few. To help our technicians meet this challenge, Ford provides the best training in the industry. Ford technicians have access to the most advanced tools available anywhere. This combination of improved tools and training helps them be the best and most efficient technicians in the automotive industry. The bottom line is that everyone benefits, the technician, the dealer, and the customer. A major benefit of these improvements is that they also affect the amount of time a technician spends performing service. For example, an item that once may have taken an hour to service can in many cases now be serviced in minutes. These improvements have also resulted in changes to the way labor time studies are done. In the old days, stopwatches were used to measure the time a procedure took. This sometimes resulted in inaccuracies. Today, a computer system allows precise time measurement and ensures accuracy while interfacing with a complete database. Another change is that all labor time studies used to be done exclusively with hand tools. But think about it. When was the last time you removed valve cover bolts with a hand ratchet? Your answer is likely to be a smile. Modern technicians use modern tools. Power tools are standard in today's fast-paced dealerships, as are scan tools and other advanced analysis equipment. In some cases, things change so rapidly in dealerships that vehicle service time changes were slow to keep pace. Again, look at the impact that power tools have had on repair time. However, today's time studies are being done with modern tools, reflecting the true dealership environment. But new tools aren't the only thing that's changed. Let's look at some of the other changes to service labor time procedures. First, let's visit a service labor time study facility. As you can see, the facility closely mirrors a modern Ford dealership. Every effort is made to match the dealership environment. The special service tools and equipment found here are the same ones used at every Ford dealer. And the technicians that do the labor time studies are no different than you. Other than learning how to use the Delta computer, they receive no special training. In fact, most of them are former Ford dealership techs. Okay, now that you've seen a modern facility where time studies are done and met some people who do them, let's look at how Ford determines service labor time. The first step is to identify the vehicle for which the study must be done. In the past, time studies were often done on prototype or near production vehicles. 
but now to make sure that service times are representative, actual production vehicles are used. Another change to improve accuracy is that time studies are only performed using published procedures. So now you know that today's service times are established using the same vehicles and publications available to field technicians. As already shown, another improvement to get more realistic times is the use of power tools, but these are only used during disassembly. This resulted in an average reduction of 4% in labor time. In the past, time studies were developed using only hand tools, and each operation was performed only once. Now, in addition to the use of power tools, each operation is performed twice, once to verify service publication accuracy and once to determine how long a procedure takes. An area that is getting close attention is the contingency time allowance. Contingency time is added to service operations for many reasons. Ford knows that vehicle age and condition can affect how long it takes to perform service. We know that age happens. We also know that every technician is different. Their experience and skill level can definitely affect how long it takes to service a vehicle. But we admit that in some cases, these contingency times hadn't changed in quite a while and were in need of validation. So to bring contingency times up to date, Ford hired J.D. Power & Associates, an internationally recognized research organization. They were dispatched to more than 70 Ford and Lincoln Mercury dealers collecting over 100,000 observations. This has resulted in an overall contingency time reduction from 26% to 20%. And as part of their observations, they also reviewed how much time a technician spends getting parts. Their observations resulted in the time provided for parts-related tasks to be increased a minimum of 25%. Of course, this time will vary depending on the difficulty of the job. As you can see, Ford has made every effort to ensure time study accuracy. We value our technicians and strive to publish fair and accurate labor times. Results to date indicate that 10% of times have not changed, while 30% increased and 60% decreased due to the restudies. However, in some cases, a dealer may ask for a review of a published time. This process has also been improved. Requesting a review is now very simple and straightforward. First, get a copy of the dealer request for review form from the Service Labor Time Standards Manual, or print a copy from the CD. When using a DRR form, fill it out completely, but only use one form for each operation in question. Give the specific time it actually took to perform the operation. But before submitting the request, perform the operation again on another vehicle. Make sure the technician that did the work is identified so they can be contacted if more information is needed. Then, after writing any comments that you have in the space provided, sign the form, then mail or fax it to the address shown here. Ford will acknowledge receipt of your DRR form within 45 days. That's all it takes to start the dealer request for review process. These reviews often result in labor time changes. For example, in 1997, about 1,700 reviews were completed. 41% of these resulted in an increase in labor time allowance. 5% resulted in a decrease in the time allowance. And 54% resulted in no time change. As you can see, Ford takes DRRs very seriously. We know that as vehicles and service methods change, the time it takes to service them changes too. But change is the one constant in life. This was true for our grandfathers as well as for us. This video shows what Ford is doing to meet the challenges these changes present. Another change is in the attitude of today's car owner. They are much more aware of the need for quality service. They know that only top-notch technicians can work on the complex systems of modern vehicles. When it comes to servicing today's cars, they've learned that cheap can be expensive and that some cures are worse than the disease. Ford is working hard to stimulate customer awareness of the value that comes with Ford and Lincoln Mercury service.
By making our customers aware that Ford technicians are the best trained and best equipped in the automotive industry, and by promoting programs such as Ford Quality Care, today's consumer will not only bring their car to us for warranty service, but also for service when their warranty expires. And when they do, we can ensure their satisfaction when we fix it right the first time on time.